Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, I'm making meatloaf today, mini meatloafs. It's just my wife and I, so this is really all we need, but it's really delicious and easy to make, so I thought I'd share it with you. Well, of course, we want to get some butter going in a pan so we can saute about a quarter of a cup of finely diced onions and then about the same amount of green bell pepper and get that in the butter and get it sauteing. And you want to add a little salt and of course also a little pepper. All right, now I'm using one pound of ground beef 80-20 blend and in a mixing bowl we're going to put one egg and give it a quick whisk and then we're going to add that hamburger meat. Put it right in like that. Now my hands are clean, I've just washed them and I'm going to go ahead and work the egg in and break the meat apart. Now I've washed my hands again and these are cooked and so I'm going to set them aside and let them cool. And we're going to add some spices. Two teaspoons of garlic powder and two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. There's two. And then we're going to put in the stove top stuffing mix. It's the savory herb blend. And that's what makes it so easy because all of the spice is already in there. Now you want to crush it up nice and fine. And then I'm going to put a quarter of a cup first and get it mixed in. But ultimately I'm going to put the entire amount, which is one half cup. So that's one half cup of stove top savory herb stuffing mix and then mix it in thoroughly. And this has all the different spices and flavors already there. And then we're going to go ahead and add the onions and bell peppers because they've cooled off enough, even though they're still a little warm. And then also a generous amount of black pepper. Mix that in. Get it mixed really well. Okay. And then we're going to divide that into two equal parts and then on some plastic wrap. I'm going to put half of that amount and kind of mold it into the shape I'm looking for, but I'm going to use for a mold the top of my butter dish. What do you know about that? And so we'll put this in the top of the butter dish in the plastic wrap and just push it in, push it down and make it a mold. And then it comes out to be just a half pound of a perfectly molded meatloaf. Look at that. And I'll go ahead and, and uh, touch it up and then put it on the uh, cooking rack. Let's see, we want to run it this way. And we'll do the other one just exactly the same. And there we have it, two mini meatloafs. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some more black pepper and some salt just right on the top of each of these. And then off to the New Wave oven. Now I'm using this little New Wave oven and you can use your toaster oven or whatever you happen to have and you'll have to work on exactly the uh, settings for your oven. But for mine, it's 275 degrees and I'm going to start with 20 minutes before I coat it. And so after 20 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and put a spicy ketchup coating on. Just ketchup, that's sweet enough. And then spread that out and let that go until it reaches 160 degree temperature. And uh, by the way, I was going to show you, I have some cups available if you'd like to help support the channel. Uh, they kind of have my logo on there that I came up with. These are black and I have different colors. But if you're interested and would like to help support the channel, these are available. Here's a closer look at what it looks like. It has the little cups that I like to use uh, for spices. Anyway, they're available if you're interested. So once these have reached a temperature of 160 degrees and you always want to measure with the thermometer and they're ready to go and so we'll go ahead and plate this up and look at that beautiful mini meatloaf let's give it a slice see if it stays together oh yeah just right perfectly cooked beautiful can we slice it thin look at that that's how you do it. Mini meatloaf. Give this a try. I think you'll really like it. It's so flavorful and delicious. And if you have a big family, go ahead and double everything. Use two pounds of ground beef and double all the other ingredients. And it's just as tasty.
Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.